<clears throat> no sleep till shade bird. Um, um, yeah, so food was good. Food was good. I had to deal with collections. They were an error of, uh, you know, stupid, stupid company. I closed my account. They didn't close my account. And then they um, sent it to collections. So I had to go through and deal with the whole, like, here's the proof that everything is closed and paid for and they're charged. They admit their error and uh, so annoying. Wait, we're doing this one. Quit playing games. Brother. Round two. Round two. Wait, where'd he go? Now I just see a beautiful llama. I don't have Golzar. No wonder. No wonder. I was like, uh, hold it. I am overburdened. Things should not take that long to kill. I can't carry you had a four year fight with PayPal because of the mistake they made. Yeah, it's so fun. So fun. So I'm hoping this one gets resolved. I mean, the nice thing is like, they, they like have already corrected it on their site and everything. Like I literally have the bills and the, you know, my, my bill balance zeroed out on their site. So at this point, in my opinion, it should be a pretty cut and clear case where they just like forgot to call collections back and, you know, let them know that they, they were in fault. Because why would they ever do something like that? <clears throat> so, it should be pretty cut and dry here where they just look at it and say, yep. But now I have to like watch my credit score and report and all that crap. That sucks. Gothic play. Alright. When's this new item dropping, boys? And girls. Llama is the deadbeat. I may not do a lot right with my life. But I pay my bills on time, gosh darn it. <clears throat> if there's one thing that I do in life, I may not get housewarming gifts for my girlfriend or always go on the nicest dates. I think they're pretty good usually. But gosh darn it, I pay my bills. <clears throat> September 21? What? Teddy bear cap? No, it's a... It's clearly a llama. Very clearly a llama. You thinking tonight's the Seraf night? If we want Seraph, so we better run Andy. Otherwise, I feel like Schaefer's has a has a chance of making an appearance today. Windforce always has a shot.
Yes? Nope. Always a shot for some windy. Troll items we've gone tonight, that'd be nice. You think a second Conqueror's Crown today? Bro, that'd be the worst. I know it, a cat. You think they're really gonna do? No. Diablo 4 has to be one of the things they're announcing. Absolutely has to be. Whatever capacity it's in, whether <clears throat> it is a. Um you know, MMO style, or just a large world, or ARPG, whatever it's going to be. They always do sequels 12, well that's not right. It, it's gonna be, in my opinion, some Diablo 4 piece. The reason I say it is because it, it feels like they've they've pushed Diablo 3 to its limit. It did amazingly well for them, but at this point, it's now, you know, they, it, it's probably not selling a bunch of copies and doing a lot, you know. It's kind of uh, hit its peak there for a little bit. You think they'll do another Diablo 3 expansion? I mean, they could. They could add another character and things like that, but... I don't know. It just feels like that's... At this point, that wouldn't generate much hype, you know? Like, how hyped would people really be for another Diablo 3 expansion? It'd be okay. You'd definitely have people come back and buy it to play it. And... But I think people are clawing at more now. They're ready for the next thing. In my opinion, at least. So, and I don't know if they'll do a Diablo mobile. Unless it's like Diablo Go, which would be awesome. But I still don't, I don't see them doing a Diablo Go. That doesn't seem up their alley with it all. It just, I don't know how well it lends itself to a, a mobile app beyond something like that. So... Let's see how far it is for this teleport. Oh, it's this way. All right, it's terrible then. So, I don't know. I like to think Diablo 4 and a D2 remaster. I think that are, those are the easy ones to think. A Diablo 3 expansion could be possible with the exception of if they do that I think they have to also announce Diablo 4 like we got we heard you guys loud and clear while we work on <clears throat> Diablo 4 <sighs> enjoy Fresh this meat. yo Viking thank you so much appreciate the support Mwah. welcome to the attic how do you prevent overshoot with your mouse? You just play a lot.
Regardless, multiple D2 projects is very promising. Very, very, very promising. And there could be even a third project, you know? You just sat in a stream and watched someone get 500 subs? What? The heck? What stream was that? That's insane. I am overburdened. Oh, shrouds. Okay. That seems more likely then. I thought you were saying just like some random stream and I was like, good lord. Yeah, whenever things like that exist, you can always expect them to be maxed out like crazy in the big guy streams. <laughs> Completely no IP, it's going to be Battle Royale for Overwatch. No, no, they, they said Diablo products. They Blizzard said we have Diablo projects in the works, not just projects. Projects is whatever. Diablo projects is what we're looking at. Yep, multiple Diablo projects. Diablo and VR. I think that would be super sick, actually, and I could see that being a thing. I could see them having some sort of Diablo VR piece because like think about it right now first off Diablo or sorry I don't like this that much down here first off VR came out long enough ago that it's something they could have like sat down and planned some right so already it's something that's not like immediate. Like a battle royale would be a little tough for them to get on in my opinion. I guess now it's been out long enough. But, you know, you gotta think about how long the technology is. Blizzard's a bigger company, they're gonna move slower. But, battle royale, or, or VR has been out for a while now. And it's, it's like trying to make a make a play, right? It's trying to make a stand, but there's just no titles really for it, right? It's just lacking the one important piece. You say it's too small, I say it's on the way. It's starting to now get to that profitable range or the uh, range where you can buy it and it doesn't just destroy your bank completely. Like, there is, there's a lot to be said for VR right now. And I think there's a lot to be said for VR in the future. But it needs a title to grasp onto. Right now you're doing Beat Saber and stuff like that. You know? Which is super cool, but once again, you're still, you're not exploring the massive world that it can be. So, I left a Jeeds? No, that was a Grand Crown. So, 
I think... I think, uh, that is a space they could get into. Personally. And try and, try and build it, you know? And that doesn't have to be their Diablo 4 announcement. I mean, they could put a Diablo 4 right there if they wanted. Yeah, that's the thing, is wherever they go with Diablo 4, they're gonna draw an audience to that to that, uh, device, right? So... I don't know. I can see that being a, a possibility. Try to grow yourself! Maris. Nice. Solid find. I think that's a little bit more of a long shot, but I don't think it's out of the question. And like, what better game than to run around if you want to be hack slash stuff? Running around hacking and slashing in a Diablo game with like giant ogres in front of you and lightning souls and everything, you know? God, that'd be so cool. Diablo Go is the way to go. I mean, that could be very profitable. I just don't know if they would like do that. It doesn't feel like a very Blizzard thing to do. Make it a cheap cash grab mobile game, you know? But I would play it. I think it'd be awesome. But I could definitely see it just. I don't know. Doesn't feel. Doesn't feel like Diablo. Unique ancient armor is what? Silks of the Victor? Sacred armor. How long is my item drought? Um, when do we find it? Almost a month maybe, yeah? I don't think there's been any other Go games besides Pokemon Go. None that are, like, reputable, at least. Reputable. How do you say that word? Reputable? Sounds right. Harry Potter Go is on the way. Rape table. Thank you. Glasses. Also by Niantic. Really? Wow. Gotta catch me a Hermione. Ooh, yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
mind if I do. <laughs> Get out of here with that bad juju. New item coming soon. To a llama near you. Any second now. Right here. Next one for sure. Do I ever think these five items don't exist? Uh, I definitely have my doubts every now and then. Llama hat? Okay, but you know they would at least make a few sales of a llama hat. You know they would make a few sales of a llama hat. That's all I gotta say. My favorite shirt in my store. I like the Drama Llama one the best. Stealth is obviously just a classic speedrunning shirt. But the Llama Drama I feel like is a better shirt. Like if you just wear it around and anybody sees it, they can just be like, wow, love that shirt. Whereas the Stealth, you have to have a Diablo fan to really like it. They ship to EU. I am overburdened. Shark skin belt. Yeah. I don't only farm the pit. I vary it up. But it tends to just be fastest to farm in one one zone at a time, kind of. Like, I mean, I could go here and then run over. Oh, I have a bad car on this map, I forgot. Crap. And then go to like Drifnar Kavanar or something. <sighs> Fresh meat. The two year old picked up a llama toy last week and hasn't what? put it down. That's a smart Have to kid. Start them young. Gotta start him young. I like it. I like it a lot. Smart kid he got there. That's all I know. I don't know a lot, but I know that kid seems pretty dang smart. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Welcome back to the attic. Appreciate the support. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. So like we could do that, but where is the merch? Uh, right there. Exclamation mark t-shirts. Maybe I should make a panel for that. Spare merch is in the attic. Or else would you keep it? I am over 
Oh no, those 99s are just for show purposes. This is my highest character, my 98. Scale mail. For not show, I should say for uh, like teaching purposes, guides and stuff. Subs make the t-shirts by hand in the attic, that's right. Gosh dang it. Go there. Yeah. How should you go for skills? Uh, where at? Early? Later? Early on, fire or light. Late, I like cold. Cold fire or light, honestly. Light's gonna be one of the harder ones to make work until you get some better gear, though. I can't carry Having, like, infinity and stuff is pretty helpful with light. So. You sure copyright laws don't apply to these shirts? Like the stealth? I mean, that's custom made rune designs that are my own variations. Swap casting does work down here, it's just... I know, it's annoying to swap cast at all. So, I don't mind. Just running it like this. Transformative. There you go. Why does everybody think it's gonna be a 90 hour stream? We're probably gonna find an item in like, I don't know, a couple hours? You know? Last time, 40 hours did nothing. Yeah, but that was... Well, now we have the 40 hours on top of what we've done here, right? So it's like extra. Hey. That counts, right? That counts as a new item. Low room. Give me that low, though. I'll trade you low rune for seraphs. Best deal in the history of deals. For me, suckers. <laughs> I'm gonna get that seraphs. Uh, what do I run on this? 
Head boy. Make sure there's nothing there. Just make sure. New item time. new item where are you at Ooh. yeah this is pluggy That's a little too much damage over there. I'm just gonna ignore those guys. Why are there so many archers right now? My gosh. No goals are fighting. All right, we're out. <laughs> Woo that damage, though. Curse fanaticism archers. Yep. What would help for players at chaos? Actually, go try players eight chaos with this light light girl. See how it fares. We can actually give it a shot. Tankreds. Okay. Am I going to Disney World after completing the Holy Grail? Player seven. Wish me luck. What? Get up. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh my god. These guys are tanky as they get. I don't think I can run this much MF. Even just a regular Venom Lord. I need to run way better gear. Yeah, short key, press H. Chain lightning's even weaker. Yeah, I literally have to like double my damage. Is every single thing lightning a chant? Screw it. Three twenty. Forget Chaos Sanctuary. That was a terrible decision. I have to be players one. I could maybe players three. If I want to do players seven, I have to bump up my gear and uh, run about 200 something MF to do it. Which is just way too big of a fall off for me to feel comfortable. Not worth. Mausoleum is like the worst place to farm in the game. It's so horrible. Not the worst in the game, but it's it's a snooze fest, man. There's just like no good action going on down there. So many archers lately. to up to players three. My Merce is using Fortitude, Kira's, which he doesn't really need the Kira's right now. I would run a completely different mercenary setup if I was sticking on light. But since we're only here for a bit, this one works well enough. We could go swap his cures out with. Could just give him his Andes. Or I could give him Guillaume's. Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, Andes or Guillaume's? I 
Andy needs a Rao rune. His his fire won't drop that much with Andy's. Fifty-eight. That's not bad. Give him Shaco. Delirium. Stuck. Love to see a perfect holy grail. Me too. So I'm trying to see it. Legendary mallet. It's like our fifth one today. All unique already. Uh, Grand Charm Rip. Thanks, Andal. Like perfects of every item. I'm already trying to, kind of. I mean, I obviously don't pick up like half the items, but I'm more trying to collect eth items of everything than perfects of everything. That's been more my goal. to put on energy shield. Tyrant Club. Staff, swirling crystal, gosh darn it. Ooh boy. Or kill Bale one time? How's ice hockey? It's good! So I checked and I'm actually leading the league in uh, goals, which is cool. Yeah. And points because, well, goals, yeah. Rattle cage. So it's been going going pretty well. Our team is two and one. The one we lost was a heartbreaker. Glorious X. I mean, it's only through three games, but, you know, that's still cool. Good Diablo, they make good money in NHL. I'm in the beer league, though, so... Nothing NHL style. Alice Armor? No. That'd be green. I did always want to grow up to be a professional hockey player, kind of. Even though I didn't play hockey ever until, I think the first time I played hockey was when I was 22. But I always loved to go skating. I was a skater boy, for sure. I would usually roller skate, though. 
but I always loved going out, roller skating, you know, ice skating as well somewhat. Just having a ball. So, always a lot of fun. Not like roller skating and stuff though. All right, there's some uniques dropping. Just gotta roll the bases today, man. Struggling on the bases is all. Ever fall badly? Yeah, I knocked out my two front teeth, actually. Or I chipped them. Pretty badly. That was during, uh... I was skating back home one day. And... The shoelace or the skate lace came undone on one of my skates and the lace got caught in the wheels of the other skate and so I couldn't like put my other foot forward to catch myself on the immediate stop and I went down fast and uh, both my front teeth got wrecked. Sucked. That definitely sucked. And then the worst injury I had was when I was playing hockey, though, um, last time, right, two years ago or whatever, three years ago, I was playing hockey, and I got checked, and I hit the ice, and I landed on my shoulder and uh, tore, like, my AC joint, like, all the tendons there. All three tendons got ripped, so I had to have surgery to repair that. And I was out for like six months with like no activity and then six months with light activity. That one sucked a lot. That one was the worst. So I would have been a professional hockey player otherwise. We'll see what he has to offer. But, no, I really do love, uh, I love hockey. I think it's such a fun game to play. Oh, my gosh. It's one of the best games ever to play. Honestly, I wish, like, shifts were longer. It depends. Sometimes I wish shifts were longer, and other times I wish shifts were shorter. <laughs> like, it's exhausting, but then you're also, like... Sometimes it feels hard to get in a groove, I guess. That's the thing. Because you are changing every minute, right? You're out there for about a minute. And then you're on to your next. You're back on the bench. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem, though. If it's a... That's that's why, like, I want it both ways. If, if you have too long a shifts, then you're so dead by the third. I mean, you are white. But... In the same vein, like I say, a lot of it for me is like feeling the momentum of it all. Have to give 110% in your shift? Oh, I do. Usually I'm ready to puke by the second second period. But then I catch a, a, I get my wind. I catch a second wind usually halfway, like at the end of the second, starting the third. So I usually feel pretty good in the third. But, yeah, I want it both ways there. It's just... Yeah. It's just hard to get. I'm used to playing, like, soccer and stuff, right? I grew up playing soccer. And it was all about, you know, you're out there for 90 minutes. And even, like, basketball. You're out there and somebody, like, catches fire, right? That's, like, such a big thing in basketball is the momentum of the, the game and the players and... Steph Curry's hot, he'll hit anything right now, whatever, right? And you just don't... It's really hard to have that in hockey, because it's like... And I'm feeling great. Okay, I'm back on the bench. Couple minutes later, I'm out there, I want to... Oh, I didn't get the puck this time, really. I was out there for, uh... Two minutes of defense. <laughs> and I'm back out, you know, like... So, it's tough to really...
it feels like. Get in the groove with stuff. You just gotta get going. 110% from the get-go. Be in the right spots. A llama hat. <laughs> what he is calling a llama hat? Oh, come on. This is a dumb command. Very clearly a llama hat. Everybody here agrees. They just don't know that they agree yet. It's like when the girl agrees to go on a date with you, but she doesn't know yet. You know? Can you have a good one? If I had a spare, I'd lend it to you. Whoa now. I'm just saying. A lot of people don't know what they want till uh, you show them. I was tricked into going on the only date I've ever been on. Don't know what that says about me. See, you didn't even know you wanted to go on a date and boom, date. How it goes. No beard? I know, I accidentally shaved. I know it sounds non-accidental. But I accidentally shaved my beard. I was just sitting there and I was trying to like, you know, sometimes when you're having a day where you just feel lazy. And you're like, man, I haven't done anything today. I need to go do stuff. I need to, I need to, I need to do something today, you know? I need to make this a productive day. So, I had that going on. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna start here, we're gonna clean ourselves up. We're looking a little, Shaky, let's clean ourselves up. And shaved. And then Kylie goes, What are you gonna do when I'm in her stream? And I was like, oh gosh dang it. So. I am My day of productivity ended up being a day of ruining level seven. Colossus Crossbow. Just need that Hydra bow. Shave your head! We can always use a Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie? Whoa. You mean a washable marker. Oh, I'm Califor. I think I have found almost, nah, there's still a lot of unique bows. I still need like Witch Wild and stuff like that, but it does feel pretty crazy though right now. Just not getting, I found the Arbalest. I, there's a lot. We have found a lot of them. <laughs> Just give me the unique Hydra Bow, man. Give me the unique Hydra Bow. Reflex Bow, not quite. The bases we are looking for, yes. We are looking for a Hydra Bow, an Amulet, a Legendary Mallet, a, 
an Archon Staff, and a Caduceus. Really, Cinevaho? Because you promised the last, like, nine times, it feels like now. Been a lot of promises from you here. You're like the, the boy who cried Schaefer's. You know that story. Everybody knows that story. Everybody knows that story. Llama on world record pace. Save and quit. Llama got a handlebar stash. Shave and quit. Llama finished at the urinal. Shake and quit. Whoa, gross. Gross. Nasty Evo. Nasty. All right, Cinevelho. <laughs> Shake and quit. But I swear it. If he doesn't have it. You're in trouble. BT did. But, my goodness, if I would have had the drops that I am having today, I would have won the competition. I've already found just today, like, 15 more items from that list. Dwarf Star, Halibirds, Storm Spire. I mean, like, good items, too. It's been very sad. No mallet, three hour ban. I think that seems fair. You stole my win. Hey, behave. Three way MF challenge. I think it'd be fun in the future to do a. Have like a four way, me, BT, DJ, Teo. Maybe get Debrunsky in there, go five ways. Have some fun with it.
That was bad drop. Yeah, it was a bad drop. You know why? Because it's Bale! He always drops bad. Bale doesn't even know what a good drop looks like. It's insane. I'm not sure Bale has dropped any of the items. That's not true. He's dropped a couple, but. Llama dancing to the Matrix party scene. Raven quit. Chat when they get banned. Misbehave and quit. Llama too cool for us. Suave and quit. Suave and quit. <laughs> Misbehave and quit. That's right. Thank you so much, Debo. Ho! Extra shot, strong, multi shot. Yeah. Cursed. That's not a lot of fun. So wait and quit. Did Bale drop my blink bats? Mr. Llama on jury duty. Save and acquit. <laughs> Found materials on the way to bail. Not bail though. Very big difference. Two MF battle? Ooh. That could be fun. Then we could like strategize. I'll run here, you run here. Could have things like choose one of your opponent's items to drop. Something like that. World's, yeah, World Stone's good MF areas. Could also be less hours. Yeah, we had a lot of hours on that. Oh no, 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 no. Good lord. Stop teleporting at the wrong time, Unique. Nope. There's a second boss somewhere in here, but I don't know where it is. Might have got it. Come play with me, crap, or something. How about some Andy runs? Do we want to do we want to shift into a little bit of Andy? See if we can't get that. Uh,
Level 98. A lot of skill points. Anyway, did not see gambling? Not at the moment. There is a room you can gamble in, I think. Oops. Let's go to player 7. I might remove it. <laughs> I might remove gambling if it tells you if you lose. So I might make it only say if you win. I've thought about just doing that. Heavy crossbow. So it'll never give another, another message. The room doesn't work? Okay. We could also raise the minimum amount for gambling. Let's go look. There's a regular crossbow unique. Man, we are killing it. Let's look at stream elements. Connect. Big connect. Um, chat commands. Let's look for gamble. Default commands. Uh, maybe it's not in that. Modules. Ah, yes. Slot machine settings. Minimum points. You think 100? More? Less? I think 100 seems okay. Maybe... 500? That's too, too much. Uh, maybe it's not. Thank you, sirs. Okay, we can change. So let's see if I do slots 10. Ah, oh, it's the it's because it's got so many badges that it pushes it all to the second line. Change the odds so you can win sometimes. Never. I can add a longer user cooldown if we want, so you can only gamble once every little bit. Let's go ahead and set it to two hundred minimum. And what? Oh crap, I rigged it the wrong way. Hold on, hold on, unrig, unrig. Hmm, getting it while I can. Yeah, I'm gonna set. We'll just set a 200 minimum for now. Okay, 200 minimum set.
That way it it prevents the the tenor spams. And I could remove the lost message if I wanted. Let's see what it looks like without a lost message. Oh, I have to have some sort of message for losing. And I don't think I can whisper. You lost. Let's see if that works. No, it won't whisper. Crap. Um, wait, why is it? Gosh dang it. Increases gambling minimum to prevent gambling spam. Gambling increases by 100 times. I know. All right, we're going to 250 minimum. That makes more sense. Okay. She just did a heck of a lot of damage. What? Okay, there we go. up with the cow helmet it's a llama look at it look at that rip slots for non-donators you get what ten dollars per hour 20 if you're a sub Five hours for one slot. I mean, I know, but people have so many dollars. If we leave it at 10, it's just an infinite gamble fest. That's like one man versus stream, you know? Oh, so close. can always get your free bits and use them. That's true. Any bits that you get for watching ads. Stay a while. Boom. Angelic. That's a, a point per bit right there. Easy. Go fire your one hitter with Meteor. On player seven though? The problem is there's all these fire immunes around here. Okay. 
You never get the opportunity? Is it in your country? I can watch at least a few every day. That's where as long as you don't mute them. Thank you, America. Appreciate that. Another demon hide sash. I don't want it. <sighs> Do what we can, huh? <laughs> We'll, we're switching it up a little bit, that's all. We're switching up our areas. So we'll do, you know, a few Andy runs. We'll do a few uh, pindles maybe after this and go back to tunnels. Honestly, we were finding a lot of good stuff in uh, the tunnels. And even the pit, we were finding okay stuff. Definitely worth it, in my opinion, to head back there. Definitely worth it. Wow. I actually get like double or triple the amount of experience down here running Andy as I do running through like an entire whatever you call it pit run or whatever pretty good experience per minute down here actually it's still like one six as good as chaos but Uh, I'll probably throw a cham room in, in the hat. That way I never freeze up. Maybe an L room. As well. Okay. It's kind of. Do you ever spend all your stash money on Jeed? Yeah, sometimes. I already have enough carrions. 112, 159, 7, 159. That's pretty nice. 9, 117. Ooh, that's the most though. 9% life leech. I need to put my Shaco on. No. Oh. Amulet! <laughs> so close. Maybe a Zod? Nah. We don't need no Zod in here. Back with the llama hat, that's right. If 
feel like I find 27s all the time now. Tight leather caps? What? Ooh, that's a good idea. I wonder if this would fit over my helmet. Probably not. It was clearly built for people that have decently large size heads, you know, appropriately large size heads. Amulet! Ooh, that's chances. Amulet! That's it. We did it! We can go to sleep! Got the new item. When are these IRL streams coming? For what, hockey? You'll have to uh, talk to Kylie. See if she'll stream it from my phone. Cooking with Kylie. We already had cooking. Overcooked. That was fun. I had a good time with that. Has anyone ever used Seraph's Hymn for a legitimate build? I used to use it when I was a paladin. It was just like the worst Maras, kinda. You know. Great party game. Yeah, apparently I think you can play up to four people, which would be like crazy. Okay, Paladin. I mean, I just used it on like Hammered in and stuff. This was when I didn't have like Maris, you know, when I was more poor. I would just use it because, hey, you got your plus skills. I don't know if anybody mains it though. She loves on the side of the guy says a cow hat. Get out of here. You know how rare Tyrells might is? You know how good Tyrael's might is? Totemic Mask. Wow. Look at all these drops. Maybe it's S. Nope. Thirty sevens. Uh, I have 31s. Okay. For my ethereal pair. New, better ethereal one. Yeah, I'm wearing perfect chances. They're perfect in every way. but I can't barely lose another character. <laughs> yeah, it can be rough. It can be rough. ID amulet? I'm gonna collect a couple amulets. We're gonna do an ID party. Dang it. We're gonna do an ID party. Ah, oh, BKU, no. Well, just don't get hit, I guess. ID party, are you 21? Yeah? Let me see your ID. Okay. All right, looks good. 
Welcome to the party. Concentrated strike barb. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the attic. Mwah! Kiss for you. Look at those drops. Uh. 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 Wow. Man, nothing of Small charm. Oh well. 320, 20 rip. I have a 214, 19, I think. Spend so much time watching YouTube. Thought you trying to catch Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Shout out to all the YouTube hit people. You're always welcome to come hang out with us live whenever you'd like. How's my Eth collection coming along so far? It's decent. I really need to like make it into a, a list of items, you know? That way I can see, oh, I have this, but I don't have this, and I don't have this, but I have this, you know. What was that last one? Warsight? No, Volge? I thought one of those was ethereal. Oh well. Eth grail chart for us to see? Yeah, that's what I would need to go do. But I, the problem is, I would have to, like, not all items can be ethereal. You know? So. I'd have to go through and like eliminate all the ones that can't be. How much MF do I run? Uh, six, six, seven. One too many. Let's see how it goes, hamster. If someone gives me a list, will I make the chart? Like in an Excel sheet? If somebody just makes, I think it would just work best as like the Google Doc. Find one of those that already kind of has some stuff and then just adjust over it. But besides jewelry can't be ethereal. Any indestructible item that is not already ethereal and indestructible. So ethereal edge, uh, shadow killer, those ones will always be ethereal. But a lot of those can't be ethereal. Um, yeah, like storm shield, indestructible. Tyrael's might can't be ethereal. Stuff like that. Ah, roll this to be it. Come on, man. Tankard's weird again. I mean, I could just, you know what? Uh, I'll take care of it, doctor. Cause I can just go ahead and just put check marks by all those. So any item that can't be ethereal that I have, I can just claim as Ethereal, you know, I'll just put a check mark by it and say yeah, it's done I am Phase blades can't be ethereal. Yep Correct And then obviously no set items it would purely be 
purely be unique. I didn't miss anything there. Okay. How to beat hell with Barb? You want to use weapons? Get uh, cannot be frozen. Nightmare Mephisto till you get like Raven Frost or something. That'll help you out a lot. Also, Angelics. One Angelic Ring, one Angelic Yammy. Get both of those. No, Unique Archon Plate's not a, not a real drop. You would have to up your Q Hagens. There is no Unique Archon Plate. These are like not hitting at all. Amulet. I can't carry anymore. Okay. It's hard to see down there. Unique Archon play. Yeah, they could have made something really cool with it. I wish they did. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, what up, First Nations? Oh, another green amulet. Killing me, man. Killing me. Man. Thank you so much. Mwah. Welcome to the attic. Appreciate it. Oh, it would totally be worth it, Doctor, but the point of this character is to not do that. Nice, Toby. For me, it's to do one character only. As the limitations I have set on her, so. Otherwise, yeah, it would totally be worth it. Thank you first. I mean, you can have an ethereal phase blade, but it has to have been upped. That's the only way you can have it, so yeah. Just for a socket quest. Well, I mean, if you really want, you can just type dash act five or whatever at the end of your properties, and then you instantly just get a level 33 character when you create it. Make it like a druid or assassin. Go out, make a quick kill take you a minute per socket quest if you really wanted. What up, soldier? Still not darn fun for us? No. Still nothing today. Looking for Seraphs? Yeah, we're just bouncing around between different things right now. Not here. We're, we're doing a time bit of Seraphs, Harmon. I can't use an S SOJ quest is only, or the socket ability of it, is only for rare items, not unique. Join my army of the dead. 
Hi from Sweden. Hey, First secret. time catching the live stream. What's up? Have actually been watching your stuff since the beginning, but from VOD did wow. not live. Wow, from You're the great beginning. Man. Hope you complete your holy grail soon. Oh, thank you so much. Mwah. Appreciate the kind words. Also, hey, three and a half years later, happy you could make it over. Happy you could make it over here. We'll do a little bit more Andy, not too much more. I just want to find one more unique amulet. And then we'll have an identification party. One more. <laughs> School the entire room dies and she does. Yeah, a couple monsters do that. It's kind of fun. Come on, man. Only took you two years to catch a live stream. Not the slowest. <laughs> There's still people that have been on YouTube the whole time and have never come over, so. Thanks, Doctor. We will be at GDQ again, by the way. Just as a reminder. We will be at the next GDQ at TwitchCon in two months from now. Two and a half months. Another Jeeds. Oh, Jeed. 3614, pretty good. Pretty good. We're doing a sorceress. Sorceress. Oops. Yeah, they have like a mini GDQ going on at TwitchCon. Pretty good lineup of games though, I gotta admit. Pretty good lineup of games. Will it be a week as well? No, it's just going to be... It's only like 56 runs or something in total. Oh, I started playing when it came out. Yeah. G. G. Exactly. A lot of people don't know that. But there's a hard G in there. What was that unique? Do you guys see it? I am over Great axe, okay. Cut up Winnie the Pooh and is now wearing the empty husk. To be fair, that new Christopher Robbins movie, Winnie the Pooh, deserves to be cut up by how creepy it is. Good lord. No, like, ja, like, dreed, but no R. Jeed. I don't, I must be missing something. Throw them on mules. Yeah, you can save eggs if you want, if you see it, that's fine. Oh, you want to store all these things? Oh, I don't care. I'm well past that. MVS this month is August 18th. August 18th. Jweeds, not jaheeds. Oh, sorry. Jweeds. Jweeds. Hello. Sorry. Oh. 
Shaheeds. Which one is it? Alright, now I don't know. Any notable drops yet? Uh, I mean, I found some good stuff today. I found another Conqueror crown. Kill me. I found a Storm Spire. I found a Low Rune. I found a unique Ami and another, uh, another unique ring right here. Currently unidentified. Ghost. Okay, what's wrong with... Ghosts. I don't understand the pronunciation we're trying to go through here, but... Sure, I'll entertain it. Hey, there's the mesh belt. Seriously, if I was on my other sheet today, we would have knocked off 20 plus items. That's insane. It's pronounced Jif. Exactly. Change sheets then. <laughs> Yeah, forget this sheet with five items left. Let's go back to a hundred items left. Serpent skin. Perfect. 3311. I think that's the best I've found, honestly. SJ. <laughs> so many ravens. I just want literally one more unique amulet. One more. Rare amulet, not quite. Unique. Best place for Hiram's Lower Cross? Depends which ones you want. I mean, it's a great place to find burr, you know. But cows and chaos, if you want to go higher or just in general, Trav's also good. Ooh, things like that. Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna ban you. No, ban. Okay. Gotta know that stuff's gonna happen. Ballista as well? Are you kidding? Neither, crazy. We're all having fun here. Honestly, I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. Materials might has minus 100% requirements, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I mean, a ballista is a siege weapon, right? Technically. Another unique ring. Gosh. It's our third unique ring. I, I just can't get Amis to save my life. Killing me. Seven minutes to go. Dang, Alandar. That's insane. This is actually not a terribly slow way to get experience doing these Andy runs. I mean, I am averaging... 10k experience per run right now. Wait, no, I'm not. Uh, 4k. 
I think. Yeah. Last run, 4K experience per minute. I got 1.5K experience from the run, but it only took 23 seconds. So. Introduction, you know, I don't listen to lore. So, yeah. Which isn't great, but it is twice as good as like in the pits or somewhere. So, Andy gives a tiny bit. But yeah, chaos runs are definitely the way to go. Is there any uniques there? No. Okay. How much experience permitted in chaos? Thirty-four thousand, forty thousand, roughly thirty-four to forty-four thousand, forty thousand. Well, it's because Diablo gives a lot. Chaos doesn't give a lot. Diablo gives a lot. Chaos gives nothing, and then Diablo gives 50,000. So. Can you gamble enemies? Yeah, I've gone through and tried it a bunch. I gambled a Crescent Moon once, but it's a 1 in 2,000 gamble, which is a lot of gold. For not a very good chance. Come on. This hall's good for experience. If you're not level 98, yes. All of those places I've named are great for experience. If you are lower. This is player 7. If you're not level 98. Level 98 just destroys your options for leveling. It's pretty horrible. They really should have done something about it, given us more areas to farm or just anything, man. Maybe we should do a Mephisto as well. Just add a bunch of Paragon levels. Oh no. Yeah, I should be finding more. God, this is terrible. All right, never mind. It's a garbage map. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, what a Three pimp. months of my favorite stream on Twitch, GG, and I can feel the seraphs coming soon. Yeah, me too. Oh, yep, yeah. it's a horrible map. Thank you so much. Welcome back to Llamas of the Round in the Attic. Llamas Attic. All right, what's the odds for Seraphs from Andy, Hell Andy, with 667 MF on player seven? I really do think it is one in 2000, right?
Go in first, Harry Riverness. Another unique ring. It's our fourth one and one Ami. Let's finish for our last item. One in 1900 or so. That's it. That's nothing. I do three runs per minute, just about. Do I stream games other than D2? I just played some Overcooked 2 the other day. I played StarCraft yesterday. 95% um, of my stream, I would say, is Diablo 2. I am playing around with the idea of adding in a little bit of other stuff outside of it just at night for kind of some fun things like that here and there. But uh, no, it's not one in 2,000 Amis. It's one in 2,000 kills of Endariel. So what does that work out to be? Winged Helm, nice. What does that work out to be? Let's say I just do two a minute. Um, yeah, let's just, I, I'm a little bit under two a minute, but with the save quit and everything like that, let's just say it's two per minute. So that is a thousand minutes, 950 minutes needed. Okay, that's a little bit longer than I thought. Little longer than I was hoping. 16 hours. Crap. Oh, man. Complete set from one kill. I don't think so. SOJ? Don't I have an identified Seraph in my bag right here? Maybe. Maybe, but I want to get one other thing to identify with it. <laughs> Wind Force? Let's get one other thing. Garbage. We're going to get a perfect one of these by the end of it. 2110. Am I keeping track of the second Holy Grail? No, I probably should have though, because I have found literally about 20 items plus on it today. I have been killing it today. Do I think there are any undiscovered runewords? No. The runewords were discovered by people looking in the game files to see where they are, so. We see everything. Force or Space Force? Wind Force, I hope. I think that's my f fifth Viper Mantra today. Plague is actually in the game in single player, if I'm not mistaken. Just not multiplayer. Luna. Do I have an F black oak? I might. BT won by seven items? Something like that. It's pretty close. Hmm. 
New Earth item. Woohoo! At the very least, we're working down our Eth Grail slowly but surely. Did I finish a barb yesterday? Nah, I just couldn't get the runes, man. It was garbage. It was going so well, minus like one rune every time. It's killing me. Don't even, Luke. Don't even. Pindle, pit, bail. For what? Oh, no, lots of people can drop. Wind force. Andy cannot, though. This is purely a Seraph's farm. Another unique ring. I don't even know what to say. This has happened to me like three times in a row of running Andy where I find like five or six unique rings. No unique Amis. Er, yeah. Sick of it, unique amulets. All the amulets are set and rare and all the rings are unique. <laughs> oh, for sure, Hole. The regular Holy Grail doesn't care if it's ethereal or not. The Eth Holy Grail is just like another additional fun thing. Sure, but I find way more rings than amulets. Like five, six to one and to zero, sort of. Is there a chance people find a way but to manipulate D2 RNG somehow? I mean, I guess there's always a chance for anything. Hey, Brock. Thank you, Amulet! Need it! Can every weapon armor piece drop ethereal? No. Anything indestructible. Anything not indestructible can drop as either or. Anything indestructible will only drop as what it currently is. So if it's ethereal and indestructible, it's always ethereal. If it's non eth then it's not. Additionally, phase blades can't drop indestructible, so lightsaber and azurath won't be indestructible. Um, things like that. Mahim, get out of here. You can manipulate racks. Yeah, that's as close as I've ever found. Rack manipulation is the the best RNG manip I know for this game. Also, bow and crossbow can't be ethereal. Correct. So yeah, there's a lot of limitations on it. Chess Vod is someday. I'm never sure about anything. Sabre and a war axe sting. Is it hardcore? Uh uh. I would cry if it was hardcore. It'd be cool if arrows had more things than just being arrows with the quantity and stuff. The quantities for this game are a little annoying. 
I won't lie. Like, having to keep going back and forth to town and out of town over and over again. What if the Seraphs is in my cube and I'm wasting time? Well, that's okay, because I'll be so excited I won't care that I wasted all this time. It's only like an hour that we're wasting. And all set can't be ethereal. But yeah, no, just the, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty silly how often when I'm like a Javazon, I have to run back and repair over and over and over again. That just gets really annoying. Our drops a factor of time it takes to kill? No. Kill as fast or as slow as you want. Ancient Tunnel? Yeah, I mean, I, I think Ancient Tunnel's got some stuff, too, for me. No, I'm not doing another Holy Grail character after I finish this. The other thing I might do is continue my Eth Grail a little bit, but even then, I don't think I would want to finish the Eth Grail. Going for like Eth Mang song and stuff. Forget that. It is a llama hat. Kiss him. Eh, rare jewels are garbage. Save quit time once as long as my run time there. They're nice, Luke. A Vor hat. When did Metal Grid drop in the Ancient Tunnels? Followed by another unique amulet immediately after. And it was Amara's, of course. A lot of green. That's Peasant Crown. It's the poor man Shaco. Metal Good was a called shot, right? I think so. Winged Helm. Nice. Tarnhelm is the poor, poor man, Shaco. Peasant Crown is truly the poor man, Shaco, because it's a, a war cap, so it's also a hat, or a cap, right? So it looks similar in that it's cappy. Whereas Tarnhelm's, you know, a skull cap, so. Demon High Martimer. Kappa with the C. You're hungry, what to eat? Mm. I know, it sounds good. It's 
sold any tarn helps recently? I did on a speed run, actually. Is there a reason for you to teleport up? Uh, it's because in my old um, map, I would teleport up from there. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, I'm Cal. Hello, welcome to the attic. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you have a great day. Unique ring, SOJ! Sold Lenemo? Yeah, I've sold lots of Lenemos. It's actually a good item, but eventually it wears itself out. If I haven't found Tyrios yet, would I continue Grailing? It would definitely be a big blow to my confidence in it. I'd probably still continue, but finding it was a huge, like, uplifting piece. For sure. For sure. I mean, I usually trash it in favor of a three socket belt as soon as I get to act two. Or a 12 socket belt. Three, three lines. Come on. Do I enjoy playing single player? Uh huh. I do. Multiplayer is all right. But. Character's two years old. Roughly around there. You still use gold wrap? Just up it. That's what I do with my gold wrap. Because I wanted to use it for a while as well before I got my towels ammy and I wasn't doing the triple towels. So I just up the gold wrap. I do not like sugar on my eggs. It is one of the nastiest tasting things ever. All right, the lack of unique amulets is killing me, man. I'm about to just identify what we got and go forward. Oh, Seraphs, please. Try making chocolate milk of sour milk. What? I love sweet potato fries though. Like real talk, sweet potato fries with some ranch to dip them in are one of the greatest side dish things you can have. Fries are gross to you. Oof, that's sad. How about another girl's puke? Not great. Doesn't taste great. I'm trying to zone in on the seraphs a little bit. Good lord, man. New York or Chicago pizza? New York, probably. I had some deep dish from Chicago when I went there. And it was all right. I mean, it was an okay pizza soup. 
I thought, you know, I was I was happy with it. It tasted good, but I don't know. I prefer the uh, just getting a big old slice of pizza, you know, and just that's good. You know, pizza. I like a pizza that I can just carry around. Pizza's supposed to be more casual, I guess. Chicago pizza is not like a casual affair. You're like sitting down at the table having dinner. Other pizza, you're just like hanging out. You're like, hey, grab me a slice. Got my slice of pizza. Cool. Pizza for the man on the go. <laughs> but all people who wear llama hats, heroes, yes. Oh boy, we got a calzone guy in the chat. Eesh. What's the story behind the wanted poster? There's no, it's it's a fake thing one of my viewers made and I don't know why it's still in my chat. We should probably remove it. ID time, let's go. Yeah, you're right. We need to just get out of here. Let's go do some Pindle. Sixty-four. I'm on player seven. <laughs> Cow hat. No, the llama hat will bring me the wind force. Bring the wind force. Look into all of my eyes. Find something? Not yet. Do you hitchhiking? <laughs> Any of the five items that you can see are swords equip? No. None of these are equipable. It was Eye of Etlich. Nope, no increased rarity on anything. It's only quality of life improvement, but it doesn't change the game in any way like that. I have 864 MF. Happy 864! 
Johnny Casey. Mwah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. Winds your force. It winds my force. Winds your force. Alright, so these runs are 13 seconds a pop. At least that last one was... Ooh, rare ring. It's actually a pretty nice ring. Could add faster cast on it. It's not that rare, it's just been really stupid. Blue amulet. Thank you, Grand Fisher. No Zod or Jot. 864 MF. Ooh, that run was 11 seconds long. Nicely done. Nicely done. So with Pindle, we do have save quit times in between. That was 10 seconds. Solid. Pindle can drop any of these remaining items. Correct. Whatever my odds are that you see there, no, two, three. I mean, I'm losing about four to five seconds within the save quit and re-enter. But I'm averaging about four runs per. We're doing Pendle and Andy, same run, because the save quits half the time. But I think it's the same time when you calculate in all the transfer time. So it's about four runs a minute. So in a hundred minute, or in an hour, we're getting 240 runs. Which is a pretty decent chance. Yes, he can, Luke. I mean, it gives us a shot at maybe like one TC-87. So, maybe one of the five items drops there. Obviously, we're going to have some runs a little slower, some runs a little faster. And save quit times to vary. Harmony for walking in town. I have it now. It just doesn't feel worth it. it. It doesn't feel like it adds enough speed to the run. This player's one? Yeah. Pindle drops the same amount of items on player's one as he does on player's seven because he has a set drop of four potions and two items. So the only thing player's eight would do would increase his minions drops. That's it. What am I using to keep track of my run stats? Uh, this thing right here. Thank you. Ancient armor. Edit that lets you tell in town with pluggy. Well, that's just cheating. Get an Act One Merce with Harmony. Ooh. See you in hell. That is actually pretty smart. BT, what up? How's it going, man? Thank you so much for the host. How's your stream? 
We're back. Phase blade, phase blade. Wow. Wow. Wonder if those is a failed unique. Can never know. Stream is alright. You doing more MF uh, Holy Grail stuff? You found a death cleaver? Sick. Bro, I wish we would have gone one more day. Today on a, on the new list or whatever, I found like 25 of the items. I found Storm's Fire, I found Halibirds, I found that Tal's Belt, I found uh, Bereza, like literally everything that we needed. Dwarf Star, I have Etlich, I mean so many items. What's the new strategy you're trying? Yeah, I know, I gotta be careful, Tribulation. You think I would've won if I ran P1 the whole time? Maybe. Maybe. It's not Winnie the Pooh, it's a llama hat. Come on, it looks like a llama. Oh, you're running players one high MF? Yeah, it's nice, right? Looks like the Minecraft Llama. Perfect. Farming guaranteed drops like Pindle and stuff. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, stop and love the bomb. Welcome to the attic. Thank you so much. Mwah, for this up. No bully. What other guaranteed drops are you farming? Just elite leader? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's a good way to do it. Just, gosh dang it. Still no Medusa's gaze again, though. Well, this is round two of it. We've been live for six hours, 15 minutes. Nice, Cinemax. Congrats, by the way. You finally found a rack? Nice. <laughs> what are you up to on that sheet? What item do I want the most? Oh, Ming Song, for sure. Please get that one off my list. I mean, I would love the other ones, but... All those blues, yeah, you had so many. I don't know, Luke. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> gotcha. How's the new, what do you, what do you have to replace in your computer? No! Wrong one rolled unique. Stupid decapitator. 529, I'll find an item. I like it, Greg. Torchlight Frontiers? Yeah, somebody was talking about it earlier. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He's creepy. He's a creepy poo. Not here. Oh 
am I supposed to do? Hey, Johnny. Yep. 15 minute break in between in the middle for some food. I should get Max on again to talk about it. That's a good idea. Wait, is, is Torchlight Frontiers, is that the thing that Max's company was working on? I thought they were doing something outside of Torchlight. Diablo just, they announced, the Diablo Twitter announced that they're doing some uh, Diablo news. Yeah, that is what his company was announcing? Oh, okay, cool. Then, yeah, I'm going to send him a message. He's heading it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, she said multiple Diablo projects going on and to be announced by the end of the year. Some will take longer than others, but stuff will be announced. That's the hope I'm molten't. For sure, is like true. More pump for Shaper's new project. I mean, we'll see what comes out there too. We'll see what all happens there. Keys and disk plus the uh, 1.1 patch stored on older hard drive. Jeez. I have not, Luke. What is that? Forgot you can install from a CD. Yeah, most people don't. <sighs> Fresh meat. You have a temp. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah. Coupon! Oh, good name. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the attic. Alright, Ghost of Tsushima. Find a wind for us now! I'm trying. 528. Apparently, I'll find it next minute. 529. Anytime now we can find it. Exclamation mark. Attic. <laughs> 529. Here we go. New item. It's a tick. Yeah, we got a tick today. Early on. Let's see where we're at on our experience. 25.24, I think we got the tick. So we probably won't get our next tick until like 26%. <laughs> Which date? He didn't specify the date? No! Hey, Captain, I'm doing all right. Thank you, thank you. Five thirty, rip. Five twenty nine was a lie. You lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me. Hey, only 25,721 runs to go until level 99. Coincidentally, I would hit 99 before I found every item at that point. So at this point, it looks like 99 first. <laughs> I should get a kill count going. Doesn't it count it in the top left? Uh, run number 345. Great mall. I am Darn. 
month and year. <laughs> sure, VT. Could just do Pindle all the way. Oh, man. We're here to find an item and say hi to BT. And I've already said hi to BT. What about the ancient tunnel? Yeah, we're gonna swap back to the ancient tunnel. We're like just swapping around to different areas. Keep it interesting. That would be super brutal decked. Hi. I know, man. What gives there? That's just, that's just ridiculous. Now it doesn't even make sense. That one doesn't even make sense. Just a reminder to everybody, if you would like to be in the magic, or not magic, fine, the speedrun races. This is community speedrun racing where I will be casting over you. Yes, you speedrunning. Go ahead and just sign up in my Discord exclamation mark races in my chat. That'll lead you there. You just put your name, what category you are. I've given some times for it. We're doing a sorceress this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Central. Sorceress. So make sure you get in there, get involved. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't be nervous or shy about it. There will be plenty of other runners. We're all just going to go around and have some fun. So get on it. Uh, maybe Apple. I don't know. It's a normal sorceress run. Yes. AM. Ouch. That's the best way to get it for EU and US. And it kind of sucks for SEA. But you can't hit every. Can't hit everyone, unfortunately. Nice cat. They're listed at the bottom. With their odds. Thoughts on POD? It was fun. I had a good time with it. I'll probably play future letter resets and stuff. We'll see how much I want to do with it. I don't know, but I did have a good time. It sticks true enough to Diablo 2. You know, there's very minor, minor changes to it. So. It's nice. Yeah, I played Median for a bit. It was okay. It moved too fast. It was a little too, like, all over. You know. How's this kind of running fun? It's just all over the place. We do all sorts of different running. Yeah, got it. Need a holy grail barb? I probably do. Thank you, Mangini. Yeah, like if I'm, I feel like if I'm gonna put in all the time and effort and everything to learn um, Media in Excel, 
I might as well just uh like learn Path of Exile or something, you know? Learn a different game at that point. Rune staff. I have eight hundred and sixty four magic find. Nice BT. Smart thinking. Noogie, yeah, Noogie was playing tons of median. He seemed like he was having a lot of fun with it. He was doing... That's one thing that median does have. It has a lot of good endgame content. I will, I will give it that. But, once again, it's still all over the place. But it's really cool, all the different bosses and all the different things that, that they've brought in. If you're sponsored by Blizzard, would you agree to stream D3 if they asked you to? Yeah. It just depends how much, you know. I'd be down to do a couple days of D3 a week or something. If they wanted me to main Diablo 3, that'd be a little harder. Have to have a good sponsorship deal for that. But maybe Kratos, maybe. Long war bow. Why not Hydra? I've seriously found every unique bow. <laughs> Let me give some calls. Yeah. Like I say, you could you could sponsor me to play Diablo three. Some, somewhat, somewhat. Because once again, it's not the worst game ever. Not yet, acrobatics. It just doesn't hold up as a as a Diablo game for me when I compare it to D1, D2, and expect D3. That's it. That's it. How did I get that data showing? Uh, there's a different odds calculators around the internet. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, bearded Wanted turtle. Wanted to say thanks for teaching me a bunch about this game. Used nah. to take me two months to beat normal. As always, much love. <laughs> Happy to help. Happy to help. <laughs> wow, raggets. Wow. The other three gets boring way quick. Yeah, I mean, we just have to really find some things within it to make it a bit better for us, you know, a bit more exciting, something like that. Wow, kiss them. Hunt for cosmetics. Yeah. How about instead we play SC Brutal or PoE? Always down for some of that. I want to find an item so I can go play some StarCraft right now. I'm itching. I, I'm finally feeling like I'm improving playing lately. So now I'm like, I want to play more. And I kind of want to main Terran. Because I'm starting to appreciate TVT a little bit, even though it kind of sucks. TVP is super hard, but super rewarding. TVZ... I'm not a big fan of TVZ. I'm not a big fan of all the Zerg matchups that much, actually. Low money. I like high money matchups. You know, fastest whatever. I like Zerg and things like that. Zero clutter. I like Zerg. All over the place. But 
low money. I just, I'm just not feeling the Zerg quite as much. ZVZ is atrocious. ZVP is probably the best matchup of the Zerg matchups. Yeah, playing TVZ and having to deal with defilers. God. But, at the same time, I, uh, my Protoss win rate is 68%. Versus my Terran win rate of 51%. And my Zerg win rate of 53%. So, clearly there's something. <laughs> a, Pro a Protoss main seems most appropriate. But I think it's just because PvT is the easiest thing ever. PvP I can do okay in. And PvZ is medium. You know, I kind of split those. Every noob mains toss. Yeah, it's just such an easier race to play of the three. So many unique rings. Need an Archon staff, I do. Even TVX sounds better than 28,000 Pindle runs. Ooh. Wow. Rare unearth one. Oof. But uh, yeah, no. The, I've really actually been loving TVP lately. I want to say I've won the last... I might have lost one in the between. But I want to say I'm like three for four of my last four TVPs or something. Which is insane. Because I was like one for 15 before that. Yeah, this is OG I'm talking at. Well, Brood War OG, I guess. But my Terran has improved dramatically in the past couple of days. My Zerg still feels at best the same as it was before, maybe a little sloppier. My build orders there I feel really awkward on. Oh, gotcha, original, original. I mean, if it's both, it feels like it for both. Flash 2.0. Medics are a huge game changer. Uh, just in TVZ though. That's the only thing. TVP, you're not using medics. TVZ, TVT, you, you could go Marines, I guess. Elders. But only TVZ, it just, you know, helps that right there. So it's not that big of a game changer. I mean, what does Terran really use from Brood War that's added in? Medics and TVZ. Goliath upgrade for when Protoss wants to go carriers or something. Um... You don't really get Valkyries. TVZ, you get Valks. Do you really? I never get Valks in TVZ. <laughs> do Valkyries do splash damage with their shots? Vulture upgrades? Those exist in original. Get them instead of Vessels? What? Don't you need the Vessels for Defilers and... Uh, Lurkers? They do massive splash? Okay. Valk is cycling back into the meta? Got it. Is mass muta really that common though lately? 
I feel like it's all about just like ultra defiler crackling lurker. It's technically not splash, but I mean, yeah, they shoot like eight rockets or something. Okay, so each one of those rockets hits its own unit. So if I have one Valkyrie versus one other air unit, do all of the Valkyrie's rockets hit that air unit? Yeah, okay. Valkyries are so expensive though. They're like 300, 150 or something insane. Ultra Defiler Crackling Lurker, yeah. <laughs> Twitch clip bingo, I love it. Kraken shell. We'll go to we'll go to six o'clock on this, so thirteen more minutes of this, and then we'll head over to tunnels again, I guess. But yeah, I would definitely say my Terran has improved substantially. Hit up Drifter. We did a little Drifter earlier. My Protoss has gotten better for sure as well. But my Zerg feels like it's least improved. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, pot belly. It's for you. Welcome to the attic. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that support. <laughs> also, carriers win every single PVT game ever. Hey, nice. Prevent Zerg is, yeah, that must be it. I haven't quite hit my get it moment yet. I still don't get it in a lot of scenarios, especially ZVZ. Screw that matchup. What a dumb matchup that is. If you don't go carriers, that's a good turn versus a good turn as a toss, you pretty much lose. Really? All right, sounds good, BT. Good luck. Thanks again for the host. Rare Ogre Gauntlets. Wow. JD loves it. Well, JD's got the best muta control in the game, so of course he loves it. <laughs> Do I like StarCraft 2? Yeah, I was a Masters StarCraft 2 player for like 12 seasons. Something around there. What else do I stream? Um, I mean, like, I, like I've said before, I am 95% probably Diablo 2. Something like that. Uh, I might stream some Path of Exile going forward. Um, I might stream some... Uh, I'll stream some StarCraft, of course, here and there. I might stream some StarCraft 2 going forward a little bit. I, I was debating that recently. Fighting games? Like Tekken and stuff? I love Tekken things, but I'm just, I suck at those games. I'm not good at them. I feel like Brood War is more hectic than StarCraft 2. Like, yeah, StarCraft 2, you're kind of rushing around a little bit here and there. But like, the, there's no pathing issues. Units move really quickly. Um, you know, you're not ever sitting on like waiting on reavers and crap like that. And uh, it's a lot easier to, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's just play Starcraft two. You should watch pros play Starcraft one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There's definitely, I mean, I, I played a lot of StarCraft 2. Lots and lots. I've played a ton of both. And I'd be good at Don't Starve. I'll have to try that, maybe. It's just... The, the thing is, there's so much more stuff you have to, like, pay attention to in Brood War. StarCraft 2, you get... You just... All your, all your workers just go wherever you want them to go. If you want to tell them to mine minerals right off the bat, you do it. One click, now all of your workers are mining. In Brood War, you have to... Every time you build a worker... You have to then go and select the worker and tell it to mine. So that right there alone is like X more actions you have to do and think about. You can't hotkey all your buildings together as one. One building at a time. So if you have seven barracks, five factories, you have to click each single building to tell it what you want it to build. StarCraft 2, you can put all of them together. Not only can you put all, all of them together, you can put all of them together. I mean, you can take all of the barracks that you have. You could have 14 barracks and 10 factories. And you can put all of those on your three hotkey. And then you can literally tab between the selections of units or buildings. So at first you say, you know, build marines, and you spam marines through all of your barracks, and then you just tab over, and now you have all of your factories, and you can tell all your factories to build things. So you can literally have all your buildings on one hotkey, if you'd like. All your command centers, boom. I just go, I want to build, you know, SCVAs at five command centers. I press three, SSSSSS, done. Done. So, additionally, you can only have 12, in StarCraft 2, you can have all your units hotkeyed together. And you can do that same thing, where you literally tab between units if you would like. So I can have my Marines and Medivacs on the same hotkey if I so choose. Just grab them, T to stem them, tab over, and then I can, you know, boost my Medivacs. Or if I've got something else there, Ghost, I can snipe with the Ghost. But additionally, you can have as many units as you want on a single hotkey. Is there a max limit? I don't think there is. Probably somewhere, but I don't think there is a limit on the number of units on a single hotkey. So as a Zerg army, when I have 100 lings and 30 roaches and 20 mutilisk, or you know, I can use one hotkey, two hotkeys done and I can move that entire army around in brood war you can select 12 units 12 and when you're a zerg and 12 zerglings is six supply and you have like a hundred army supply or 140 army supply do you know how many units you have <laughs> you have so many units and you don't have enough hotkeys for all of your units even you, do, you can't hotkey your buildings anymore of any kind you just have to get rid of that idea 1 through 9 is now all army hotkeys just to move your army around trying to attack with all of that and remember where you set your defilers and things like that. Oh my god. I can't carry anymore. But those kind of life changes let you com command the war more and worry less about economy. It's true. It is true. But it also changes the war because you can once again select all of your hotkeys anyways. Right? Like, I don't need to worry anymore. How am I supposed to complete the difficult? There's a lot of resistances. 
uh, avoid the ones that are uh, bad against you. Pretty much the best answer. Dodge. But because you can have your entire army hotkeyed as well, it, it makes war almost too easy and too death y right? I think the massive damage is the bigger issue I have with StarCraft 2. And you gotta remember, I like StarCraft 2. I played StarCraft 2 for years. Um, or you can run some sort of dual spec guard. God. But like the way you manage, does micro even exist in SC2? Yeah, it, did. it exists a decent amount. There's definitely micro to be done. It's very different though. It's very different in Brood War versus SC2. And also the quantity of units in SC2 versus Brood War is a lot higher. So you find that units are maybe a little less important. And then the massive damage is also higher in, in StarCraft 2. Such as in StarCraft 1, Brood War, workers play like such a bigger, more important part of the game than workers do in StarCraft 2. You know? Like if I'm getting attacked in StarCraft 1, my workers can hold a lot of stuff with a little bit of mixed in. StarCraft 2, you get, you know, a few marines grouped. All right, you're just toast. I am not crazy familiar with the current pro state of StarCraft 2. I've watched a little bit of, a little bit of stuff, Serral and whatever, but. Not obviously fights having at the highest levels. Army split in multiple locations. Because there's one to use surround from main sides as possible. I mean, you're always expected to surround as many sides as possible. The, uh, yeah, I would need to watch more to see what they kind of changed to get rid of a little bit more of that death poly. I have not even seen a Hydra Bow today. It's been really disappointing. <laughs> or an Archon Staff, or a Caddy. I haven't seen any. I've only seen Legendary Mallets. Alright. Two more minutes of this, we're gonna go into tunnels. How much money would you have to be paid to watch an entire video repeat of you completing this grail? I mean, it would be 400, 500 hours. So you got to pay me a pretty good hourly rate. If you want me to watch that whole thing over again. <laughs> what is it? 10 grand for 20 bucks an hour? By the end of it, maybe... 12. If they did D3 remake, what would you like to see them change? Just add more content. That's all. Add more content at the end. Maybe fix melee a little. Get rid of a lot of basic things like, you know, just basic quality of life stuff. Quantities on javelins. Stamina it could be removed if they really wanted, you know, attack rating, defense level, whatever their formula. Leveling to 99, not being quite as dumb. Maybe give more areas where you can get levels, maps, kind of like PoE with higher level monsters that you can go in and fight. Stuff like that. Maybe, soldier. See, it's like Drew. Fresh. Here we go, one. Trip. Mwah. Guess for you, thank you so much. Welcome to the attic. Got rid of Runewards. I think they could adjust <sighs> Runewards down some. Thank you, Aaron. New. Good luck, Llama. Hope you get some sleep tonight. Appreciate it. The weirdest thing ever, Sphero. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Welcome back. 
Hope you're enjoying the attic. All right, 601. Time to be done with this area. Rip, rip, rip. That goes there. Nagel swaps here. Faster hit recovery swaps here. You're out. You're out. You're in. And you're here. Okay. Sure. Rune words serve a great purpose when they exist like stealth, like lore, like any of of those, right? Rune words lose their purpose when they're like spirit, like enigma, like grief. Anytime your rune word is your best in slot. Starts to get a little bit like, eh. I think rune words should just serve that purpose of something that you can make easily until you get the GG item that you're looking for. That's my opinion on what rune words, the role they should play in the game. Oh, I forgot my keys. GG runners require insanely rare runes. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I mean, duping obviously is a huge issue with it, but I still just don't like the idea of rune words having and being what they are today. You know. I still don't like a rune word as a best in slot. I mean, ones that are, you know, maybe, and, and I think they can also have fun uses, right? Give it a use for making a, a bear build more viable or something like that. I don't mind it having some purposes, but when it's just like enigma, fortitude, grief, you know, like, they're just too strong. They just ruin any other item ever. And spirit is so stupid. I'll admit there needed to be some sort of shield that was maybe a little better for casters. But this is ridiculous. For those runes, come on. Come on, what are we doing here? Exactly, exactly potent. I think Classic had it done better in terms of items. A lot of rare items have good value in Classic. Right? But only one or two in the end roll into that super GG awesome item that everybody wants. Well, if Spirit was just all high runes. It's still a best in slot rune word. I still don't like it that much. I just don't like best in slot rune words that are just blanket, easy, you know. Teleport should be available to every character, but Enigma's OP. See, in POD, they kind of address this. They nerf teleport, but it still exists. I think that's there are solutions like that that are viable. Additionally, the druid and the necromancer just have a teleport skill. They might have a little delay on them or whatever, but you know, it exists. Which I thought was actually not that bad.
So I, I thought that it was decently addressed in POD. Frozen armor being removed from Path of Diablo is very dumb. That is where I disagree most with Green Dude. He says it's because he thought it made the sorceress too good, but... It, it, it needs to be in there, in my opinion. It's a very critical part. OP rune roots are easy targets and limit build diversity. Yeah, a little bit. Right, but I do like rune words still. That's the thing. I don't hate rune words. I just dislike the ease of access to super good rune words that is available. Make stealth a thing, make lore a thing, make, you know, delirium a thing, whatever. Like, there are a lot of rune words out there that I think are fantastic. Treachery, that's, you know, maybe almost on the edge of being OP, but not quite, you know. That one's pretty close, though. But, you know, all, all that's great. It's just... Get rid of the, the top tier ones. Or change them to be, you know, more specific to certain builds. Or just not so universally great. That's all. Yep. Your presence honors me. Right. Like, if I take... I could take probably, like, seven rune words. Enigma, Chain of Honors, Grief, Spirit, Uh, do I really need much more? Fortitude, I guess, if you really want. Infinity. And let's take like one more. And we can make like Hodo. All right, great. We've now made 90% of the builds in the game. CTA, sorry. Put CTA in there over like four or something. So that stuff's a little bit like, hey. Is that K armor rare? It's rare as set armor. Rarest armor? No. Tyrael's might is probably 50 times rarer than it. I actually, CTA is my least hated of that. But, I mean, every single character has one. I'm just saying you can run CTA. Or, you you know, it's one of those that every single character has, right? But I actually don't mind the, you know, I feel like being able to buff up your character like that isn't horrible. And your offhand really isn't used for much anyways in Diablo 2, so... Having that isn't that bad. Like, if there wasn't CTA, what would I have in my offhand? Probably just something that's like, plus the energy shield a little bit. So.
That's not a big deal there. Well, there isn't a buff item that gives fade. Treachery. You just gotta have it procked on you. What am I looking for right now? The five items at the bottom. I am running... 667MF. Again. Lose one. Y'all really think that'll change anything? Because I do. Where'd he go? What? Where'd he teleport to? Thank you, Colton. Well, the problem is people wouldn't really choose between them. They would just carry them in their cube and then just alternate between them. So people would just buff up on everything. Um, Better? 666MF. Jewels with plus skill charges? That'd be weird. I have to have it on my ears. GG finds today other than the low rune. Halibirds and Stormspire. But none that we, uh, none from the list. Talk to Flavi before teleporting to Andy. No! Again! It's our third time! If only I had the 667! I swear to God if that 1%... percent more MF probably it would be stun crusher anyways no more stun crusher no more stun crusher we did our stun crusher time
According to the Pittsburgh Zoo, when one llama has an issue with another llama, it will stick its tongue out to express its displeasure. They'll also spit on other llamas. Sounds about right. That sounds about right. Thank you, Toby. Well, loop. That sounds about right. That's how I handle all of my interactions as well. Rare sometimes looks like uniques. Yeah, every now and then you can. I can see it. Yeah, part of this mod lets you see your total MF. It's, it's just quality of life stuff like that. It's really nice. July 10th, so a month ago. A month ago we found halibirds. And then today we found halibirds again. So sad. I mean, this is all I can do. All I can do is farm as fast as I can, as best as I can. And hope it's enough. I can't carry any. Do I ever do PvP at all? Uh, I mean, I used to do a little bit of it a while ago, but... Not a ton. I was never a huge PvP guy. Seventy-two hours. We're getting a new. Oh god, it's already been eight hours. Oh my god. Big money, stop. Dang, man. What's gonna be the next challenge? Eth Holy Grail. I don't know. Maybe a uh, nice Pikimo, confirmed. Get Code A and Brood War? How hard can that be? Cool stash of Zods. How about find one Zod? Start there. D3 Holy Grail. Yeah, but then I'll need a new challenge right after. The only thing I would do is I would get I would run it on every character because of the class-specific items since the drop rates are garbage for those. 
not in town. D3 Grey would have to be primals of everything. I don't know the rarity of primals, but that sounds probably appropriate. Just gets old a little fast, that's all. That's floor. Well, I haven't found an item yet. I can't carry anymore. Good day. Primary is the legendary of the legendary. So it's like finding a perfect item? Is that what it is? Oh yeah, let me hide the statistics. Good call. Llamas are smart. They can distinguish between the neighbor's dog and a predatory coyote. Yeah. Llamas are the camel's hippie cousins. They belong to a group of animals called camelids that also includes alpacas. All camelids spit or stick out their tongue when they are annoyed. I like these. Llama facts. These are good llama facts. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, Toby. <sighs> Dang, Gladius. Hashtag just llama facts. Whoo! Wow. That. Just, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Give me that blood letter. Take it. Would I ever consider playing Fortnite based on their homage to llamas? Uh, is that homage? Is that how you pronounce that word? I mean, I'm not very good at Fortnite. Also, my chat hates Fortnite. <laughs> so. Seems like it'd be a tough one to swing. Test us. Don't. Test us. More like snore night. More like Fortnite time. Go to sleep. Maybe, uh... Nah, I might play it in one of my bonus streams. Cause screw you guys, I do what I want in my bonus streams. That's me time. See, now the cat is complaining about not having any dollars. Look at all the dollars you got. <clears throat> Playing it in your bonus time doesn't make it less awful. I mean, kind of maybe. Oh no, bonus time. If I want to play Overcooked, I play Overcooked. To help with glare and avoid snow blindness, their eyes are designed with special sunshades built in. Yep. 
that look like yep. a curtain of ruffles hanging in the eyeball and close like Venetian blinds when needed. They also wait readily for the ruffle copters. Da -da 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 I was like, hold on, where's this go? Oh, there it is. That's where it's going. What up, Kylie? How was your stream today? You play We Happy? Seizure warning. You take your joy today. Oh man. I can't carry anymore. My joy is running out. I need item. day. Good night, soldier. Have a good one. Have a fun day at work. We all do, Ant. We all do. Wow. Play when they remaster. You should finish it, Kylie. Sacred armor. How many sacred armors am I gonna find today? But not hydra bows. Like I'm literally still. I'm pretty sure it's zero hydra bows, zero archon staff, zero caddies. I haven't seen one additional one. Have you guys? But like three or four sacred armors. dagger every now and then once a month maybe I'll find a gold dagger Just any of those five at this point. It may be more common down there at level 10 than it will be up here. Big item. Not even a unique chest today. No facets today. 
You donate five? That's it? If I hit 99? It's literally the most impossible thing you could have said. Well, I'm just saying, if you're gonna make an impossible statement, you might as well chuck it up to a million. You know. There's n I'm not donation shaming. It's just a... Uh, Literally impossible to hit 99 with that experience ring. <laughs> it's just funny that you would make it 5 on an impossibility. <laughs> As if you were slightly worried that it could happen still. You're like, just in case. Good day. Yeah, see, 5 trillion dollars if you hit 99 in the next 10 minutes. There you go. Hero edit. Oh, good point. Never said it had to be legit. But I can't hero edit a character that I'm currently playing. So, never mind. Never mind. Where can I take you? Potentially social. Potentially. At the top of the hour, we'll go head over to the pits. Do some more pit running. Ancient Tiles is being stingy now. Oh, it's nothing to do with what, to be fair. Is that for the next Yeah, I am. Totally am sure if I... I know, decked, I know. Feels bad. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I don't got the control there. Take it up with the clippers. Okay. Oh, well, I know. Give me the kitty power, thank you. Amulet! 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 
Bedtime. Bedtime amulet. Bedtime amulet. Right there. Kitty power bedtime amulet. Right there. Now I play StarCraft. <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby! The amulets are done! The amulets are done! I want to show you guys this once again. For those who have not seen! Join my army of the dead. Mars. Party! Mars. Mars, 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 Mars. Oh, Metal Grid. Nine Mars amulets before a single Seraphs. What? And that's not even counting all the Atmas and Seracans, like nine of those and Etliches. I, I've thrown all the other ones away. I've only kept these. I found like nine of every single amulet <laughs> and probably a hundred of these. <laughs> wow! Wow, we did it! Fran Fran! Mwah! Captain Shmo! Mwah! Wow, first try! First try! Woo! Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, let me go to my sheet. Hold up. All right. Let's first go to our sheet. And from our sheet, we shall remove it. We shall move this down. Boom. Right there, get rid of the borders. 08 slash 09, 2018. Item five. Strike that bad boy out. Wow. No, I already save quit. I already save quit. This is a new game. Now for over here, Seraph's him. Be gone. One in 103,000. That was literally the hardest, almost hardest item to find on my list. <laughs> that had a one in 103,000 odds of dropping. All the Andy runs that I did, nothing. It drops in the Congrats. tunnels. Now you can go to sleep. Oh my God, one Seraphs after two years, it's done. Oh, for sure. Now I'm going to find, like, Seraphs all the time. Now that it's here. Selling kitty power? I'll take it. Give me some of that kitty power. Oh. I didn't know how long the stream was going to go. But now we know. It is done. It is done there. I feel like I should organize these things out into like some of these because it's kind of sloppy. Oh, I have an open slot in my 22. Hmm. Maybe I just move all my jewels over there or something. Oh, well, we'll figure that out later. Whoo! Wow. We did it, Mom! Mom, we did... 
Oh yeah, I live alone now. Enforce? Darn. Wow, four items remain. Back up the files. Truth. Truth. Wowie. All right, let's play a little 